How's everybody doing and welcome to the fish room. Uh, so today I have some things kind of sitting out right now, but I want to kind of show you what's going on before I actually uh, finish a couple little projects and we'll kind of jump forward to that at the end of this video. Um, but right now I have some things out here. Uh, first of all guys, um, thanks for clicking on the video. Uh, if you guys are familiar with any of my stuff, go ahead and check out some of my older videos. I always post a tag at the end of the video with all my older uh, playlists, but um, if you like the video, maybe later on like it, comment below if you have anything to say, and also subscribe and hit that notification bell, it definitely helps me out guys. Uh, but let's go ahead and jump into the video and kind of take a look at some of the tanks today. I guess we can start with this tank, this is what I've actually been working on in uh, just the last hour or so. Um, didn't take me that long, but I did get some of the other plants out of this tank. I added some black gravel to the bottom of this tank, very thin layer, um, but I had some in a jar growing. You can see this bottom moss, it's a little cloudy still, uh, right where that shrimp is. That moss is actually rooted um, to the gravel. Uh, that takes a long time for moss to actually grab on and root to something. Uh, whether you glue it down or tie it down, you can speed that process up. Usually takes at least a month. Uh, this case, I think I had, I'll show you exactly what I had. I had this jar here, um, only a few inches of water, and then just that black gravel, and I threw some moss in there. And I kind of just uh, set it, forget it. Um, every once in a while, I'll top it off with some aquarium water once it starts to evaporate. Um, but it did kind of root down to that gravel. Um, so I went ahead and I added more black gravel in here, added that and threw a couple handfuls of moss. Um, this is kind of a cool guppy strain. Uh, it's kind of from like my mutt guppies, but these are kind of like an albino. Uh, this male looks pretty cool, I think. Uh, he has that like orange and yellow color to him. And uh, he's bringing up these females here, so hopefully get some babies here soon. We also have some plecos in this tank. Um, I showed them an older video, uh, one of my plecos bred, and I just went ahead and netted out the eggs and we hatched them and now they're in this tank here. Um, but this is the first tank I did today. Uh, kind of just rescaped a little bit, made, made it look a little bit nicer. Still a real simple setup. But kind of what I'm trying to go about uh, for this video and just the fishermen in general, I have a lot of different supplies I've had laying around. Like here I have a couple bags of just white sand. Here I have like some mixed color gravel I've had for a long time. Uh, here we have some large like river stone. Um, over here we have a bunch of fake plants. I have this, uh, it's actually pretty cool. I had it in one of my tanks for a while. It's kind of like a, looks like a little waterfall. You do, um, there's an air stone that shoots up underneath that. It looks pretty neat. Um, so what I'm thinking about doing a couple of these tanks, I kind of mentioned it in my last video. I uh, kind of want to rescape them, do something different. Uh, so this tank right here, just while we're over here, this 55 gallon. Uh, right now I have some female guppies in here and just some plecos breeding and growing out. Uh, a bunch of snails too, they're doing pretty well. Um, but what I want to do in this tank is kind of just strip it, take everything out. And um, I want to do a larger fish in this tank. I'm not sure if I'm going to do like a, something real simple, like one Jack Dempsey, maybe do some African cichlids, maybe do like a goldfish. I want to just do something kind of like a pet fish in this tank, something a little bit larger, uh, fun, maybe like an aggressive fish. We could do like feed calls to and stuff. I still have like a purpose in the fish room. Um, but what I want to do is do all these fake plants, carpet the whole thing have um, a big centerpiece in the middle of that uh, underwater, like the underwater waterfall with like the air bubbles kind of looks like. Uh, we'll still keep a sponge filter too, kind of hidden in the back just to actually filter the tank. Um, but I want to redo that tank there. Uh, we're going to move any of the plecos and snails into this tank. Uh, this will just be like a catch-all tank of plecos and guppies. Right now we have just have uh, male guppies in this tank. Uh, the moss rocks are doing pretty well. They're getting nice and bushy down here. Uh, we have a bunch of uh, the water sprite growing. It's actually pretty cool. It's growing out of the water pretty well. Um, I do have some, some wood I just painted today. I'm gonna put them in between the tanks. Uh, so right here, these gaps, I'm gonna have like a, I think it's like 13 inches, but I have some two by fours I cut the size and I painted them black today. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and get chains to actually hang these lights um, after, probably tomorrow I'll get that done. I'm just letting the wood dry today um, with those lights hanging up higher. Uh, so we can get a little bit more light and also be easier to get in and out of these tanks. Um, but this tank, I'm going to move all the adult plecos I'm not currently breeding. Uh, maybe some of uh, the younger guys. I'm not going to add any pleco caves though. I uh, will just have kind of an assortment of male guppies and then some plecos. So I also have some media down there kind of getting cycled. Um, but that's where all those plecos are going to go to this tank. These top two tanks are going to stay pretty similar. Uh, I might move the sponge filters around so it's kind of set up like this where we have our flow, we have our moss, and then we have our floating plants over here in bare bottom. I think it just kind of disperses the light the best. The moss will get um, a lot more dense and it won't grow as tall and stringy. It'll kind of stay lower to the ground because it's getting more light. And then we have an open area over here 
and it usually pushes those plants over the floating ones and then as it starts to grow across i can kind of just pull from it and just kind of maintain the tanks that way uh, by coming with these top two tanks they're pretty similar right now but it does need cleaned up a little bit i might add a third sponge filter to this tank kind of move the moss over maybe secure it to something different um, this is just kind of a yellow guppy mixed tank uh, breeding in there we can pull males and females out into the sail tank over here is very similar we're growing out um, an assortment of guppies we're breeding them and we also have our super red plecas in this tank so these guys are definitely starting to get bigger they are breeding we have different babies in here um, but i'm gonna start pulling some of these older guys out uh, maybe selling some we'll move them down to these uh kind of just holding tanks and then we'll do more breeding up here but these top two tanks here just not to get the too distracted uh, these would be guppy and pleco breeding and kind of growing plants um, down here just gonna kind of house uh male guppies and older plecos uh, this is going to be that fake uh, carpet tank with the plants we'll do more of an aggressive fish in that tank uh, if you have ideas for what you want me to do in that tank i actually want to ask you guys um, if you comment below let me know what you think uh, before i get it I was thinking about doing, I told you, like a Jack Dempsey, maybe like a goldfish or something fun. I also thought about doing like a prawn or just something like a little bit different I haven't done in a long time. Uh, kind of do a predator tank and do all fake plants. Um, over here, we're going to do like a decorative gravel. I have another bucket here of that like blue and purple gravel all mixed in. I want to do kind of a deep, uh, like three inches of gravel in here. Uh, take out all the breeder caves and just do baby plecos in this tank. Um, so right now we already have the baby plecas in this tank and a few adults. Uh, I'll just move the adults over to that tank I talked about. Uh, we'll remove any of the breeding caves. Um, we'll do some more air stones. I have an air stone here so can I have an old like decoration. This is basically like we're all home. I've been doing a bunch of cleaning in the fish room and in the basement. Uh, and I have all these old decorations I've had for a long time. So I kind of just want to put them to use. Uh, get a lot of airflow because the baby plecas need a lot of oxygen and just kind of they like that movement. Um, so I have this like turtle thing here. We can plug that in get some bubbles going do the air stone We can get like two or three sponge filters in here And then we'll do that just a uh, bare bottom not bare bottom just gravel uh, No plants in this tank and we'll just have uh, Baby plecos in here grow them out once they get bigger. We'll move them over. Um, that's kind of my plan for this tank All right guys, we're just in the middle of uh, catching some of the adults out of this tank. It's pretty cool um, So this guy over here is a bunch of babies in the cave. We're gonna check them out so you can see this is a ton of babies there's probably a few hundred in here and there are some common some long fins there's also it looks like some blue eyes maybe albinos uh you can see the dad right there is a common long fin uh so pretty cool i thought i'd just jump in and show you that i don't know how clear it is uh but you can see all those babies in there so i'm gonna leave him in this tank um they don't really need him right now but they are super young they definitely just hatched uh probably should be disrupting them like this to be honest uh, but it's not a real big deal. Uh, I'm going to leave them in this tank. And there are a couple females in here. Uh, I'm going to leave one or two of the blue eyes. And uh, the rest of the males I'm going to take out. And we'll leave all the babies in here and add our gravel. Uh, but just kind of a quick uh, before I finish stuff. I want to jump in and show you that. Because I haven't had uh, any new baby plecos in a while. Especially in a video. So uh, I thought it was cool to kind of share that real quick. All right guys, so it's the next day now. I got everything done yesterday, but I kind of just uh, got a little bit too late to finish the video. And also I wanted to let the tanks clear up a little bit. Um, but let's go ahead and uh, check out the tanks that we've uh, changed here and kind of just look at what it looks like. Um, so this is the tank I talked about adding the gravel and more airflow to. Uh, so we did go ahead, we left the, I think I left a trio of plecas in here where we have one male, two females. I believe it's a long fin, um common male and then here we have the long fin female on top of the sponge filter and then we also have a um blue eye leucistic uh female as well and then you can see there are lots of babies in here um i added just a flat stone here uh, this is typically where i feed i have a little opening here uh in the kind of like the diy lids um so it kind of helps the algae wafers uh land on something flat because they're used to having the bare bottom tanks uh, versus all the gravel. I think they'll get more food that way um, But there's still lots of plecas in here. They're actually super active I can see them a lot more off like the vibrant colors of the gravel 
Uh, it's kind of just a fun tank now. I'm, I'm, I definitely think it looks good. Um, and I did move the female guppies in here because uh, if you remember the tank next to it, which we'll, talk, we'll look at next, that was the tank that had the female guppies and plecos in there. So now we have the female guppies in here and we'll be adding to this. There's only a handful of them right now. Um, but I think the plecos are looking really good in here. I think the tank's fun. Like I was saying, we have the little uh, turtle decoration here blowing the air bubbles out. Uh, we have a kind of a wand, like a long air stone. And then we did add another additional sponge filter. So we have three sponge filters in this tank. We have the trio of plecos. I left the breeding cape because there's lots of uh, newly born um, or hatched baby plecos in there. I showed those earlier. Um, but there's also a lot of probably two to three month old plecos. Uh, this would be a really nice one. Uh, right now, especially when it grows up, a uh, nice common long fin right here. They have those little tips of color on the end of their fins. Uh, my strain tends to have that, which I kind of like it. Uh, they have like kind of like a frost or like there's tips on them. Um, but yeah, I've been breeding these guys for quite some time. Uh, we do have some of the blue leucistic or like a lemon blue eye plecos, the babies in there as well. Um, some albinos, so cool tank here. They breed pretty well. Uh, I didn't want to totally stop breeding in this tank. Um, but yeah, overall, I think this tank is pretty good. I kind of off-centered this light so it can uh, light this tank up as well. Uh, I have to figure out how I'm going to do that because I did uh, end up bringing the wood home uh, I talked about earlier in the video so I can hang these lights. Um, so if I hang this from that gap and that gap, it'll be centered over this 55 gallon tank. Uh, so I'll have to figure out how I'm going to get light over to this tank. Uh, it doesn't really need light, but it is definitely nice to have that. Um, but once it's raised up a little bit, it will disperse more too. Uh, so probably like half or a quarter of that tank will be lit up more than just a natural room lighting. Jumping over the tank next to it, uh, right now it's kind of a clean slate. I think this tank came out really well. Um, I'm happy with it. I think it looks good. And the light, like I said, once it's centered and it's raised up, it's going to look even better. Um, but we have the tank, we have the tank for the most part covered with our DIY lids. And then we kind of just spaced out or I spaced out all these uh, carpeted fake plants. So this is one big mat there. Uh, what I did, because this will float, um, super cheap you buy this large stone from I get it from Home Depot it's like five dollars for a bag of it um, definitely have done tanks and a lot of ponds with this uh, you have to rinse it a lot so you kind of pay for or pay yourself for the time you have to clean it uh, it's gonna take you if you were to clean an entire bag it'd take you like an hour uh, for the fifteen dollars you save you're kind of just paying yourself to clean the gravel instead of going ahead and buying it um, I think it looks really nice. I like to kind of try to do things on a budget at times. Um, but what I did was the smaller rocks or the medium sized ones, I would just kind of carefully, uh, there's like a grate on the bottom um, and they're like these little squares. So if you can find a rock big enough, uh, that'll kind of not fall through, uh, but also not too big, that'll make big gaps in the plants. Um, you kind of just stagger those throughout. I will say there's like an X in the middle of that grate too, where some of those squares underneath and if you've bought these before, I get, I've bought them from, I got these from Michael's, like an arts and craft store. Um, if you've bought them before and you look at the bottom, you'll know what I mean. Um, but you can put a lot more rocks on this X mark versus just the scattered, all the squares, because they're going to be smaller holes. Um, but I went ahead and just moved those around. And then I just did the rest of them up front to kind of fill up any gaps I had. Um, this is another little piece there. Uh, we have our sp cycled sponge filter. This is that kind of like underwater waterfall. The air stone is kind of old. Uh, I might have to replace it. So it's not giving a whole lot of bubbles out there, even though I have a lot of pressure on that. Um, but I think it looks kind of cool. Just a little bit extra there. Uh, we have another piece here. This is separate as well. We need a little stack of rocks back there. And then up front here, it didn't really look nice because you could see all the bottom still. So I just filled in all these gaps with some larger stone. And then we have more carpet over here. Um, but like I said before, let me know what you want to see in this tank, if you guys have any suggestions. Um, I thought about doing something bigger like a predator fish. I also thought about doing like maybe a larger live bear, maybe like some platys. I haven't done them in a long time. Um, so that'd be a cool like breeding tank. But also I think it looks good just kind of being nice and simple. Uh, maybe I do some rainbow fish in here, do some schooling fish. Um, I know they would outgrow this tank, but I've talked about doing maybe a 90 or 110 gallon tank. I could do some bala sharks in here. I know those are kind of like uh, overrated and also underrated. I think it'd be cool to get like 10 bala sharks in here, but they would outgrow this tank so fast. So uh, even a 110 gallon tank, they'd outgrow it eventually because they just get so big. But I always thought those were cool fish. They're pretty cheap. You could get a whole bunch of them and actually school them. 
most people just buy one just because you run out of space but it'd be really cool to have a schooling fish in here that's a few inches long uh, even though those guys get like six plus inches um, maybe do like a Jack Dempsey in here maybe do like a piranha something kind of uh, overdone but also I've never had something like that so maybe I'll try that in this tank but all in all I think this tank looks really good uh, all the stuff I already had so that was kind of a cool tank to set up I spent the most time on that I think it looks pretty good um, we moved some of the plecos up into this tank but nothing really changed here um, this other tank above I added some more um, lemon blue eyes from this tank uh, so this is like a lemon blue eye pleco tank and I also have some long fin plecos in there um, this tank here is mostly my super reds and calicos but uh, jumping down to this tank I moved some of the extra adult plecos in here I did add some of the driftwood nothing too crazy in this tank uh, cycled sponge filter where well, actually I need to move that because it floated around and now it's sitting on top of the moss um, but there's a lot of cool plecos in this tank kind of just uh, a few grow outs and then some of the adults uh, I can sell these for breeders and stuff. Mostly just been selling things locally. Um, not really shipping fish right now. Um, here's a guy up here hanging out in the plants. <laughs> that was kind of weird. I've never seen them come up and hide in the live plants before. Um, this is super dense. I showed this the other day, but it's going to look a lot better once I have this light hanging and that's not kind of smashing down on those plants. Then coming up here, I showed this tank the other day, but it cleared up a whole bunch. Um, hopefully the moss stays alive in this tank. One side note. Um, if you ever get the scuds in your tank, they're really beneficial to feed your fish, especially when you have larger fish. Uh, and they usually don't become a problem because they're like a food source, so kind of like slowly breed and slowly get eaten away at. Um, but if you have too many and you have small fish like the guppies or things smaller like that or just shrimp, uh, they will start to multiply and they will feed on the moss. Uh, they don't typically eat plants, but moss they will. So I took a lot of time in this tank uh, removing all my old acrylic yarn and kind of uh, netting through trying to get any of those extra scuds out of here um, but this tank's gonna be kind of cool we'll see if I can just get some moss growing a couple floating plants and I think these guppies are looking nice so hopefully get some fry from these guys eventually um, we also have those uh, snails in this tank and then we have some of the baby plecos I thought about taking them out uh, but I went ahead and just left those guys in here we'll grow them out I uh, take too long to catch them all out and not really uh, have an exact tank to put them because the other tanks are already pretty full that have the baby plecos um, but they're looking pretty good definitely happy with it um, not much more has changed those are the main tanks I want to work on just a few I did this tank right here the 10 gallon tank um, that 55 gallon tank and that 29 gallon tank um, everything else for the most part stayed the same but I've moved some fish around I've added things and the nice part is a lot of the stuff I already had so it didn't really cost me anything extra I think these two tanks look a lot better I just kind of enjoy it a little bit more and they all have a purpose it's kind of a breeding and a grow out tank this will be kind of just a fun tank for fake plants, kind of be a cool, uh, something we can do on the channel, kind of just show something new, uh, get some new fish in here besides just having our guppies. Maybe something a little bit bigger than just our guppies and we have our plecos, uh, but just kind of keep it, keep things interesting. Uh, I'll probably wrap this video up, just so you can see, these are all those uh, two by fours. I cut the sides and I painted them. Um, they're just gonna go on the ends of these stands. I've showed these before my uh, rod iron stands. So this will be a 10 and a half inch piece of wood. Over here is 13 inch, and then there's a gap right there. I actually already put a piece of wood here, so it'll look like. And all I'm gonna do uh, on the opposite side, I'll drill a hole, uh, pre-drill it. I have these uh, little hooks I'll screw in, and then we have chain where we can hang down the chain. It'll go to this light here and there, uh, and we'll just hang those lights up a few inches off the tank. Um, that way we don't have to worry about them falling into the tanks. So we'll get a little bit more light dispersing, and I can take the lids off without having to touch the lights every time. Uh, just overall will look a little bit cleaner and it'll be a lot easier and more functional um, so that'll be something I'm doing later today but just want to do the video for right now and show you these tanks um, I think this tank turned out really well I'm excited to work on this tank because uh, it's ready for fish right now it's cycled water cycled sponge filters no fish in there um, it actually needs fish soon because it has all that cycled media uh, over time it'll kind of start to die back that live bacteria uh, so I actually need fish for this soon so let me know below what you think I should put in that tank. Comment below. If you like this video and you like how it's turned out, definitely like it. If you're new to the channel, uh, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. It helps me out. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Check out some of my older videos I'll post here on the screen right now. Um, hope you guys are all staying healthy, having a good time working on your fish tanks. Uh, thanks again for watching, guys, and I'll talk to you soon. See ya.